Hey peeps, I wanted to talk with you guys about something um, that I feel like this passion inside of me um, want to come out when I start talking about it or somebody asks me about it. And it is related to names, um, but it is bigger than names. And it's about caring what people think. And so the disclaimer I want to put at the beginning of this video is I care too much about what people think. <laughs> Uh, I really do, and I'm on my own little journey of becoming myself and standing up for myself and believing the best of myself, um, believing I have good intentions, and even if I fall on my face, <laughs> and and whatever, you know, whatever the consequences are that I walked in with the best of intentions, no matter what people think. And so I hear a lot. <laughs> um, uh, you know, our family or our friends, um, they don't like our baby name and so now we don't know what to do. We feel like we can't use it now or we can't use it because um, everybody we talk to hates it. And so I think that we can all agree if it's a societal um, no-no, if it's like to society, if it's, a, if it's just a huge negative that way, you know, like naming your kid Aryan or Hitler, or <laughs> or something like that, um, I would say, yeah, you, let's not name our kid Nazi. <laughs> I think that we can all agree that there are societal things that we just don't do. That being said, if you really like the name Kalela Layla Lalia, <laughs> and I'm exaggerating, but hear what I'm saying. It, I am extremely sentimental and I care about what people think and I believe in having a tribe and surrounding yourself with people. I believe that we are the culmination of our past. We are the culmination of the people we surround ourselves with and we originally were the culmination of two people for the negative and the positive. And so I just for sure believe that you don't want to like crap on people. <laughs> I believe in being kind and being sensitive. You know, if there is a really intense family memory associated to a name that is gonna hurt, I'd say, yeah, I would probably just stay away from it and to be sensitive. But, not no buts. So that being said, at the end of the day, I believe what truly matters is what you think. I believe that what your tribe and your your family and friends, the people that you've surrounded yourself with, your past experiences, you know, like we can't name our kid that because it was my husband's ex-girlfriend or whatever. That all needs to be sifted through your heart filter. And what comes up at the bottom? Do you still have that feeling in your gut like, I just, I'm, I really love this name. My partner and I really love this name. Then to me, that's the name. We need to use that name. Um, I have been on this path of self-discovery for a couple of years now. <laughs> like since I had my own kids. Um, when it came to birth plans and the names and how I'm going about raising them hasn't always gotten a, a, a hundred stamp or a gold star from the people that I've surrounded myself with. But I had this realization, and this is a, gonna go a little deep, but I hope that you stick with me through this. Because I wanna share with you what I've learned through really painful times of suffering. Parenting is really, really hard. And it's really, really beautiful. But, when you are at the baby shower and people are giving you their opinions about about the names that you like, those same people probably aren't going to come in and raise your children for you. And I have some pretty amazing people in my life, but we all have our own lives is what I'm trying to say. There are really ugly parts to parenthood that end up working themselves out to be really beautiful but it's ugly because it's like it brings up all this stuff inside of you and these chat these mental challenges of like am i doing the right thing am i failing them am i doing all the things that i need to do am i in, uh, just 
yada 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 the whole the whole list that challenges you that puts everything in perspective and it's like am I am I the best that I can be am I inadvertently screwing up my kids lives no all of those things and and I've always cared too much about what people think and I had this realization a little while ago I was standing in my kitchen and it was quite a day quite a day on top of quite of quite a bit of days <laughs> like it was just that day and the emotions and tension were at a climax and I was all alone with my two kids and they were screaming and like I didn't know what to do and I had this realization and this is just for me personally because I've always cared too much about what people think but I was standing there all alone and I said you know what all of those people who have spoken into my life that what they've spoken has either hurt me or um, I don't feel like they always show up. They're not walking through that door right now. <laughs> Nobody's walking through that door. I'm the one standing here. I'm the one who is showing up for my kids even when it's really hard. Even when I don't want to get out of bed for the millionth time in the night. I am doing my absolute best to always show up for my kids. I know them. I can look at them and say, something's wrong, or I think they're getting sick, or I think they need to see the doctor, or something is bothering them and I need to talk to them about it so it doesn't fester. I know them, because <laughs> I'm their mother. I've been with them since the beginning. And, and so I'm not just talking about birthing ch children biologically. I mean, when you have that moment that there is this being that requires everything of you, that is the culmination of everything unto you <laughs> and their life is in your hands literally every decision you make affects them then to me you make the final call you know in your heart of hearts I really truly believe that because I believe negatively and positively everything that happens can be brought together for good can be brought together for who you are in that moment will force you to grow and and I'm not saying that having skated through through life you know scot-free skated through life with super positive things happening to me I've been through darkness and I've come out the other side saying tribe is important and community is important surrounding yourself with with people who challenge you is really important and people who you aren't afraid to come to you and say I think you're taking a misstep I think that's really important and necessary at the end of the day it only comes down to you and to your immediate tribe <laughs> to you and your kids to you and if you have a partner to, to, to your core the core people that you immediately affect. And that's a gift of responsibility given to everyone. So everyone has their own thing going on. So, so such and such doesn't like the name Eulalia Cornwall Ebikanakis. <laughs> like, but if that means something to you, then you should go for it. And I'm sorry, I like I know I'm a little passionate and I'm going a little deep, but I didn't want to just broad brush this because this this subject really means a lot to me because it's I've done a lot of soul searching and a lot of soul I shouldn't say soul searching, a lot of soul journey. <laughs> and I hear these this pain point coming up so much and it is bigger than names. It's like my um, my sister-in-law and I joke about how the older generation um, doesn't like distressed jeans. <laughs> like they're always handing us money at Christmas time to go buy ourselves jeans that don't have holes in them. And it's like, but we like that. We like that. And um, that's just a funny example of something more serious of are you secure in what you believe? Are you secure that 
you're going to show up for your kids? Are you secure that you're going to make mistakes, but that you're going to keep trying because you truly want what's best? If you answer all of those things, then I hope you can see that uh, me, Ma, and Dad, and Mom, and Stepmom, and whatever, whoever has been vocal about not liking the name. And they have issues with it. But guess what? Time is going to go on. And then when they say that name, there might be memories of something else. But they're going to see that little face. And that face, that name is going to become a person. And I'm not saying to inflict something on your kid. But I am saying you need to stand up for what you feel. Because that lasts a long time. Regret is real and it does not stop at names. Name regret is real. It sounds dumb, it sounds corny until you're standing in it and you go, crap, I wish I had of named them this. Because it is more than a name. It's, it's hard to describe. It's hard to put your finger on it, but a name is more than a name. You're speaking something over this, chi over this child, this culmination all coming together, sifting through your heart. And it's like, this, <laughs> I want this for you. And there may be trials and there may be negativity and disagreement. We're going through this together. I love you this much, I want this for you. And it's, I don't know. <laughs> I think you guys know what I'm trying to say. I don't want to I don't want to beat a dead horse. I'm just trying to I'm trying to get out all of my passion inside because I really believe you've got this. I believe that you have what it takes. I believe you are made for such a time as this. And I believe that we're all going to make mistakes. That we're all going to be wrong. But I believe that <laughs> That we are capable of making beautiful things, beautiful choices, beautiful people, <laughs> and um, and that matters more. So, thank you for sticking with me and hearing my very long-winded rant and reply. I really hope it encourages you, and I really care a lot about you, and I don't want to see you stuck in feeling like you have to please everybody because you never ever ever will and that's perfect because that means you're standing up for something that you believe in I heard I'm gonna end on this food for thought there's this poet on Instagram she said I believe a girl becomes a woman the first time she speaks without permission and I can see that even translating over to guys. I believe a boy becomes a man the first time he speaks without permission. To me that means I'm my own person and I feel things and I see things and they're validated because I'm human and because I'm a culmination of everything and I matter. <laughs> and other people are going to think good and bad of me. I can't change how people feel about me. I can only be who I'm meant to be currently because there are things I want to change about myself that I can't until tomorrow or a year down the road or longer. But I can tell you this, I'm different than I was 10 years ago. I'm different than I was a year ago. I'm different than I was a week ago. And we have to give ourselves that permission to be who we are right now because who we are right now is good. Even if there are bad things that we're working through, we are good. And, and don't let people speak things over you that hold you back from saying that you have value. So, you should name your kid what you want to name them. And, and um, so good, that's all I had to say, is that. <laughs> I could have said that in 10 seconds, but Love you guys. Hope you're having a great day or a great night. And I'll see you later on, on Instagram. Hey, Bug. Yeah? 
I'm making a video, so try to be super quiet, okay? What? Okay, thank you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, how is that happening? Well, I'm recording a video.